Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld tutorial content. We are about to start a playthrough uh, using the Profane mod. We're actually going to be using most of the mods that we used for the House Stormguard series. Um, so it'll be Profaned and it will be uh, RimWorld of Magic. And I was about to start making some edits to the Profaned mod uh, just to add some of the RimWorld of Magic stats to the gear. And I thought I'd do a quick little video to show you guys what that looks like. Um, so today we'll just kind of be taking a look at what it is to kind of manually add some stats to some gear. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually we're going to open up a, uh, our mods folder. I actually have two mods folder. Um, I have this mods folder and then this is the Steam folder. Uh, so here's our Steam folder. You should have these as well if you're like uh, on a Windows install of RimWorld. Um, okay, so these are all the mods that Steam has installed. Uh, these are all the mods that I've copied over from the Steam folder to the local folder. Uh, so when people talk about like uh, backing up your mods or having a local copy of your mods, um, they're talking about uh, installing them into this second folder over here on the right. Uh, it says place mods here. Um, you'll notice some of these have been renamed. Um, I'll do this with mods when I have made some edits to them or if I'm planning on making some edits to them. That way they're just easy to find. Uh, they are usually when Steam installs them. This is just the Steam ID. So if we take a look at our browser again. Um, actually, I don't have it up on the screen, do I? Uh, right here in the URL. Uh, there will be the ID number, and that's how you can find that mod. So a RimWorld of Magic is this 1201382956 number. Uh, if we copy and paste that uh, down here, uh, we'll find a RimWorld of Magic, and you can verify that this is the right mod by going into it, checking its About folder, and you'll see the preview image for it. So there's a RimWorld of Magic. Um, not going to make any changes to the mods over here on the Steam folder. Uh, I just wanted to show that to you guys. We're going to be adjusting the copies of the mods that we have installed locally. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to add uh, some of the magical enhancing stats from uh, RimWorld of Magic uh, to um, some of the gear from the Profane. So ARAM here, this is a RimWorld of Magic Uh I think one of the easiest ways to figure out what the thing is called that we're going to be looking for is to go into textures. And then if we go into pawn kind, um, oh, everything's always organized a little bit differently between mod authors. Maybe equipment. Yeah. And let's look for like a cloak. Okay. Um, actually, is it like supremacy? Uh, cape. Um, <laughs> it's not a good start here. Okay, here's a the Demon Lord cloak. Um, so if we go into, we're back at the top folder for a RimWorld of Magic. If we go into version 1.5, uh, we'll find this defs folder. Like this is the XML definitions for everything. And we're going to go into thing defs. And we're going to go into apparel. Uh, so sometimes this folder structure is organized a little strangely as well or differently. And we'll pop open apparel and let's bring that down. So we'll get something like this. And we're looking for a demon lord cloak. So I popped open a search window, find demon lord cloak. And if we look at this demon lord cloak, We'll probably see some stats in here, like XML is pretty readable to like um, a novice. And so you can see there's like armor rating, armor heat rating, sharp blunt, all that fun stuff. I'm looking for something that is not base game. So I'm looking to see if this has something that adds like magical stats, right? And probably an easy way for me to help identify this is if I click thing def, double click it, I can see uh, where it ends pretty easily. Okay, so in here, oh, right here, actually, 
under comps, it is we have this like special class that's related to Rimworld magic, base enchantment true, phantom shift max, uh, MP is the magical resource, uh, max MP tier, max MP regenerate. Um, so if I just want to um, cooldown tier crafted, if I wanted to add kind of like the extra stats that uh, this cloak has to a cloak from a room world of magic this is the relevant portion of that code um, so i'm going to keep that highlighted and then i'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at and i'm going to be like a little inefficient about this but i just want to show you guys like one clear example so we're going to back all the way out to the mod folder and we'll go to profane we'll take a look at the textures here things um i don't see anything related to apparel so i'll assume it's in pawn human-like apparel and profane cloak so this is called a profane cloak this is what i want to add some magical stats to so we will back up and go into the 1.5 folder here into the defs folder and organized a bit differently we have apparel underscore profaned right there so we'll pop that open and let me drag that over here okay so when we have this open we can see that it is there is a lot going on in here uh, we're just gonna do control find again or control f to bring up find and it was called a cloak and so this is Crypt Lurker Cloak. Is that the thing that we wanted? I think it was called a Profane Cloak. Um, so let's see, Profane Cloak. So this is the graphic data, the text path. So this is the folders that you would go to. And that folder was called Profane Cloak. The cloak was called Profane Cloak. Uh, so this is what defines all the things about that cloak. So it defines that it's made out of fabric or leather, how much that it costs, its hit points, move speed, armor stuff. Um, and I don't see anything that says comps. So let's go ahead and bring back this guy. And color generator. Do we have anything about color here? Color generator, it's under the apparel clothes tag. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab comps here. And I'm going to double space this out a bit just so that it's easy for me to see what addition I made. Um, we're going to put in comps and then uh, this is kind of defining uh, where to go look for this information. Uh, and then we're giving it the stats that that Demon Lord Cloak from Rim World of Magic has. Um, so this will boost the spellcaster's um, casting and all that other fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to need to restart the game for it to actually pick that up. Let me restart the game and we'll bring up a character and put that cloak on them so that you can see the stats have been added. Okay, started up a quick little save here with some little profane dudes, and we will open up character editor, Go to inventory, apparel, and we're searching for cloaks. So here's the Crypt Lurker cloak, and as you can see, ropes of supremacy are enchanted and provide additional benefit to trained mages and fighters. Max energy plus 40, plus 40 energy regen, ability cooldown 20%. So this, uh, these are the changes that we made. Uh, and if we go into gear, I think we can see that this is, it shows that it's enchanted. And this person isn't a mage, so we don't see any like enchantment here. But if they were a mage, we would see that. There is some other gear that's added by the profane mod. Is that something that we can filter on? Apparel, no. Profane. Uh, no, but if we take a look up here, game browser, um, you can see that this, this, this person's rocking a staff. They have some fancy kind of like necromancer looking robes. Um, I'm going to go through the profane weapons and some of the other gear, probably like this crown, this robe. We'll see if there's anything else that we would want our 
necromancer to be wearing and I'll go ahead and make some adjustments as, as well to it. Uh, and I'll be doing it exactly the same way I did it before. I'll kind of go look up a similar piece of gear. Um, I'll go find those specific to RimWorld of Magic stats, and I will get them added to that. So I'll look up like a mage hood for the crown. I'll look up a weapon for that staff. Uh, and that's how I go about kind of like customizing. Uh some of the apparel when we do a playthrough that has a bunch of mods and I want those mods to kind of like um, intermingle a little bit more. Uh, this is something that you can do with other mods. Like if we were using vanilla side casting expanded instead of a rim world of magic, I would go into those XML files to look at, you know, a side caster cloak and I would see what tags are being added Um in those XML files to increase psychic sensitivity or to increase heat dispersal um, and those types of things. So uh, little little tutorial on making some of those adjustments. Let me know what other things you guys are interested in learning about. I'm no, by no means an expert, um, but uh, you know, some of these things I can kind of like figure out and I'd like to share that with you guys. So have a good one, and I hope you guys enjoy our upcoming Profane playthrough. Bye!